Hi everyone, welcome back to our Gypsy Rose journey. The next part of uh, the journey is thinking about how do I make this garden nymph represent all the seasons. I'm going to start off here with spring and I'm going to end with winter. On the back of course will be fall or autumn and summertime. But also how do I make these gorgeous curves on such a wob wobbly wonky surface making the most of the beautiful shapes such as a hip here where I'll need to do some really snazzy old keystone cutting so that it fits beautifully and I think the way to go or the way I go is to think about uh, this as not a naked female form but a sculpture that has beautiful curves and how can we make the most of those beautiful curves so you can see I've already started here to make some curves and I'm, this is going to represent the pathway of the seasons all the way through um, Gypsy Rose I've put, popped on the water lily or the lotus over her belly button and we learned how to cut one of these in uh, stained glass workshop number two and I think it was session two we did this flower so what you'll need for this part is a pencil of course to start with before we commit to a sharpie and a whole range of things that are curved so for this one I've got a glass that measures seven centimeters or two and three quarter inches and of course that doesn't fit over the top of that. These are my standard circle making tools. I have a smaller one that does a circle, or appears to be smaller, 8.5 centimetres or three and a quarter inches and that's a perfect fit over that one. So I can draw the circle as I see fit there and then once I'm happy with it I can commit to the sharpie. But we also have a nice little bend down here so I've got this other little one, which I can put on the edge here, so they join up and become a circle. So I'm going from smaller to larger on this particular journey, but you could do it in a different way. So the next part, I think I got this 10 centimetre or four, four inches, and just over the top of the lotus and slid it along a bit. To make another curve but you can see how they work beautifully together and start to separate the curve in a different direction so I could also add more curves in this way depending on how many curves you want to do then you can see the curve getting even bigger so I'll use this other tool which is a lid um, and it's 12 centimeters or four and seven eighths uh, inches and pop that there and draw around that with my pencil so you can see I'm immediately starting to get this wonderful pathway around uh, this gorgeous shape. So then I can add to it with a, a, an even larger one or a smaller one. So I also have this incredibly expensive uh, Dalton Devonshire beautiful plate that didn't cost me anything, but it's the perfect size because it gives me 17 centimetres or six and three quarter inches, which is a great circle size. So I can put that up on the top here and gradually work my way around the body. So that's what I'm going to do next, is create all these gorgeous curves. And then um, in our next part of the journey, I'll look at how I'm going to choose my tessera uh, to represent the seasons, but you'll also get to see the finished product with all the curves that I've decided to have. I won't bore you by doing it um, blow by blow, but you'll get the idea and I can demonstrate that next time round. Happy curves.